Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this Healthy Choice Power Balls. This one is the Shrimp Fajita. It's shrimp with black beans and vegetables served on top of a grain, top of a grains blend with a smoky fajita sauce. Sorry, that was written weird. Um, made with wholesome tender shrimp. Uh, it's 10 ounces or 283 grams. Um, Plant-based fiber bowl. That's good. Um, and we bought this at Kroger. It was $4.49. And let's see, um, 240 calories for the entire thing. That's not bad. It has shrimp, black beans, grains, vegetables, and which is poblano peppers and tomatoes. That's cool. Um, and then the fajita sauce. So the directions are only for the microwave. So we're going to microwave it high for three and a half to four and a half minutes. No need to vent the film. Let it stand for one minute in the microwave to let it finish cooking and then blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, do not use if film seal is broken. Okay, so do not vent. So I'm just gonna basically open this up, put it in the microwave. Uh, I'll probably microwave mine for four minutes. Uh, that's kind of like in the center, that, that'll work. It has a pull tab. It didn't actually work, but that's okay. Most of the time they don't. Okay, here is the thing. Seal's really good. So they don't have you stirring this up, so hopefully those grains uh, don't get dried out. But I'm gonna put it in the microwave for four minutes and we'll see. All right, so here it is out of the microwave and uh, looks like there's a decent amount of moisture. You can, uh, I didn't get the shrimp smell at first. Now I'm starting to smell the shrimp now that I'm moving it around a little bit. It smells as spicy like a, a pepper sauce is what it smells like. There's not a lot of moisture in these meals. I mean, the sauce is there, but they didn't really package it well. So the sauce was all kind of like on one side and it wasn't on top of anything really. So it was kind of, it's kind of like they did it backwards. They put the sauce on the bottom and dropped everything else on top of it, but they, they didn't drop everything on top of it because the sauce was all like over here and all the other stuff was kind of set out to dry, you know, to hang, sit out, hang it out to dry by itself, you know? So, but it smells pretty good and it stirred up pretty well. So I'm going to let this cool off for a minute to get over the table. I'll be right back. Okay. So I've got a bite of uh, shrimp and beans and rice and peppers and whatever else I can dig out of there. Um, here we go. Mm. I did stop it like 10 seconds earlier than the, than the four minutes that I was going to put it in. Was it three to three and a half to four and a half? Yeah, I put it in for four. I actually start, stopped it like 10 seconds before it was done because it was starting to look dry looking. And so I was worried about it drying out. And it's fine, it's completely hot, um, perfectly fine. The moisture level is okay. The grains are a bit dry, but I think that's just the nature of the grain. Um, the shrimp, it doesn't taste super fishy. It tastes like shrimp, but it's not like really, really fishy. What's also funny is you get, not funny, but good, is you get the flavor of like that uh, fajita sauce. It's kind of uh, got a peppery tomato flavor, which is nice. Um, has a little bit of spice to it. I'm trying to get a bite with that shrimp. Um, it's got a little bit of spice to it, but it's not like what I would consider hot. It's just got some seasonings and spices in it. Maybe a teeny tiny little uh, tingle in the back of your throat like a little just a little bit of a tingle, but not not like hot It tastes good without the shrimp too. So there's not tons of shrimp in here So if you get a bite without the shrimp, it's not like it's uh, the end of the world and it's all horrible if you don't get a piece of shrimp So texture wise the shrimp has that um, typical kind of chewy shrimp texture The black beans are good and soft, so they're not really hard. Sometimes you get black beans in these meals and they're they're like hard as bricks. Um, like you're chewing on a little gravel or rocks or something. And this is not like that. These are soft. Um, the rice is a little dry and tough. Um, I mean, that's it's more tough than the beans and the shrimp are. The, is the rice or the grains. Um, so texture-wise, it's okay. The, I don't mind the texture of the beans and the shrimp at all but it's got so many grains in there that are kind of tough and dry that, that it kind of ruins the texture of everything else. Flavor-wise, you do get that 
kind of like a smoky pepper flavor uh, which is a little bit of a tingle like i said in the back of your throat it's more of a peppery kind of flavor like peppers um, but it does have a lot of peppers in it so it makes sense but um it's not like spicy you really don't get the shrimp flavor you really don't taste the beans or anything like that um it's it's okay flavor wise i wonder what was in that uh, yeah uh, smoky zesty fajita sauce um kick of ancho peppers um yeah so i'm getting that pepper kind of flavor but but that's about it and it's really it's kind of a smoky peppers flavor that's exactly what that fajita sauce tastes like so for me this is a three out of five for me i, I wish the texture was a little bit better it wasn't so dry or kind of tough the grains um if it was better textured and it had a little bit more of that peppery kind of flavor and i really wish i could taste the shrimp more too um, then I would probably get a little bit higher, but the way it is right now, it's just a three out of five. It's just an average run of the mill, everyday meal, nothing spectacular, nothing bad, nothing great. Just, just okay. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.